In such a state you may sing the glories of the Supreme Lord. Weeping, Bhakti Vinod submits this his prayer at the lotus feet of the Lord. O Lord, when will you give me the qualification for, for possessing attributes such as these? So that's from um, that's that's from Bhakti Vinod Thakur's commentary on the third verse of Shikshastika prayers. Life is temporary and filled with various miseries. What should we do to es what should we do to about this ines inescapable truth? Therefore, carefully take shelter of the holy name and always remain in His service as your eternal companion. So he goes on and on. This is Namasraya, fully taking shelter of Krishna's holy name without any sense of of uh, motivation completely giving up all desires for name, fame, and on all levels. That's the eighth key. And the ninth key is Krishna's causeless mercy. <laughs> That's the last key. If we wish our attachment to Krishna and our desire to serve him to increase, we need this ninth key. It is the master key. The key that opens all the doors to our advancement and to everything that has been discussed in this book. Ultimately, we can depend only on this key, on Krishna's causeless, causeless mercy. We may try to advance using all tricks and techniques we have been taught and may have been taught by others, but it won't be long before we realize that all technique and all form of endeavor will always prov prove to be two fingers too short. <laughs> Referring to that pastime of Mother Yasoda trying to bind up Lord Krishna. So we have to beg for the mercy of the Lord. <laughs> Ultimately, that's the key that makes all the other keys work. Okay, so these are the, some tips. But always remember that one mantra formula. When the mind is going this way and that way, bring it back here one mantra. Chant with uh, the desire to uh, meet the Lord in the holy name. Any questions? Nine keys. And you, yes. One can chant 24 hours a day, but one, one, when one chants their prescribed rounds on beads, that should be free from all other activities. Because it's job of meditation. Meditation, you know, means concentration. How can you concentrate if your mind is thinking and doing other things? You may think you're hearing this sound. And you may also be hearing to some degree. But Krishna's not there. Because you you split your time between him and something else. You know? <laughs> it's like, yeah. So you may and you should chant 24 hours a day while you're washing your car, driving your car, taking care of the babies. You should even do it while you're sleeping. But on your beads, when you have to chant your prescribed rounds, those means no other activities. So Prabhupada said 16 rounds on beads, innumerable rounds off the beads. So off the beads means you can be doing your other things and just chanting. Because you want to remember Krishna. And that's the and chanting is the best way to remember Krishna. But when it comes to our japa, our prescribed japa, the actual, we make a vow to the spiritual master, to the fire, to the Vaishnavas, and to the Supreme Lord. I will chant 16 rounds on beads every day without fail. That means with full attention, or trying to bring about full attention. But you may do these other things, but not for your prescribed rounds. 
If you have too much service, then you should arrange where you can have a sufficient time to do your japa. Prabhupada said, my most important instruction to my disciples is to chant 16 rounds on beads every day without fail. Most important instruction. So, that means with attention. There's no excuse. If you have early morning service, then do your service and chant it another time. Don't squeeze your rounds in. It's not this. This is not about rituals. We're not into rituals. We're into we're into devotion. Devotion means concentration on Krishna. It's not about rituals. Rituals means you go through the motions and you do all these things and you think, "Oh, I did so much." <laughs> What is the value of just doing things? There is value, but the idea is this is about focusing the mind on Krishna. And Japa is the best and recommended way. Okay. Something else I was going to say. Ah, while you're chanting, and you might find yourself in a situation where you need one of these keys or more. It may be the one mantra key, it may be the humility key, it may be the determination key. So also be aware of that, that some of these keys will play an intricate part of what you need at a certain time during your japa. So you also, and you can use these keys. I mean, if you have another idea how to improve your japa and it works, that's nice. But I find this very scientific and very helpful. It's not, and this is not the ISKCON recommended formula. <laughs> it is, a, a formula that's been done by a devotee who carefully studies and practices chanting for years. So he's come up with this formula. And it's based on his study of the Shikshastika prayers. But I find in my own personal experience, this one mantra thing, it works really nice. And just recently, after giving a class, some girl came up to me and said, you know, this is really helpful, this one mantra thing. I'm really getting a lot out of it. Because we just, well, we just tenderly, we're just racing through the japa, you know. We're not Haridas Thakur. Haridas Thakur was absorbed, although he was chanting fast, he was absorbed. First get absorbed, then your speed will come. <laughs> but don't, you can't substitute speed for, you know, for anything else. Hearing is first. It's all about hearing Krishna's name. <laughs> yes? I, uh, I found that the slower I try to chant, the more absorbed I get, and gradually the speed gets picked up. Picks up, madam, yeah. If you go too slow, you can space out, but you have to hear nicely. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare. Wasn't that nice? That was nice. Want to do it again? <laughs> Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Nice. So just hear nicely, and then as generally, you, if you see, you know, Srila Prabhupada, was, he was teaching japa, and he had, they have the recorded japa tapes. He starts off like that. It's very methodical, very concentrated, very slow. And as the tape goes on, you see the speed natural. So that's, that's what it means, to catch that sound, 